Abdominal Exam The abdomen describes a portion of the trunk connecting the thorax and pelvis. It contains many vital organs. Some are classed as hollow organs and some are classed as solid organs. This includes liver, stomach, gallbladder, large intestine colon, kidneys, small intestine, pancreas, bladder, and many blood vessels, arteries, and veins held by the peritoneum membrane. The regions of the abdomen are theoretical divisions used by clinicians to help localize, identify, and diagnose a patient's symptoms. These include the right and left hypochondriac regions and the epigastric region, which are located in the upper abdomen, the right and left lumbar regions, and the umbilical region are in the middle abdomen, the right, and left iliac regions are in the lower abdomen and the hypogastric region. The abdominal assessment consists of for basic components, inspection, auscultation, percussion, and palpation. It is important to begin with the general examination of the abdomen with the patient in a completely supine position. Changing the order of these assessment techniques could alter the frequency of bowel sounds and make your findings less accurate. Inspection. Inspect the abdomen looking for scars, striae, masses, swelling, distension, pulsating mass, stomas, guarding. Also looking for Gray Turner sign, bruising in flanks, and Cullen sign, bruising around umbilicus, both indicating hemorrhaging pancreatitis, and spider nevi, under three normal, over five can indicate liver disease. Caput medusa, distended umbilical veins, indicating portal hypotension. Gynecomastia, male breasts could indicate impairing liver function. Auscultation. Start from right side of umbilicus and working your way through each abdominal region, listening for up to five to 10 seconds in each area. Listening for gurgling sounds and if bowel sounds are present or not. Percussion. Percuss liver by percussing from bottom right to top right. Note any change when reaching borders from resonant to dull. Percuss upwards towards the left costal margin until the percussion note changes from resonant to dull. Percuss downwards in the midline from the umbilical region towards the pubic symphysis. A distended bladder will be dull to percussion. Percussion can also be used to assess for the presence of ascites by identifying shifting dullness. Percuss from the umbilical region to the patient's left flank. If dullness is noted, keep patient on their right side for 30 seconds, then repeat percussion over the same area. Palpation. Lightly palpate each of the nine abdominal regions, starting from the furthest point away from the pain. Then repeat the same process with deeper palpation. Palpate the liver by palpating the right iliac fossa while the patient takes deep breaths as you palpate towards the liver upwards. Palpation of the gallbladder can be attempted at the right costal margin in the midclavicular line, the tip of the ninth rib. Palpate the loin between your hands 
as the patient breathes in and out. If the kidney is easy to feel it is either enlarged or abnormally low, then repeat the process with other kidney. Murphy's sign is elicited in patients with acute cholecystitis by asking the patient to take in and hold a deep breath while palpating the right subcostal area. Rovzing sign pain elicited in the right lower quadrant with palpation pressure in the left lower quadrant is a sign of acute appendicitis. Blumberg's sign also referred to as rebound tenderness or Shetkin Blumberg sign is a clinical sign in which there is pain upon removal of pressure rather than application of pressure to the abdomen. So a sign is assessed by having the patient lie supine and placing your hand just above the knee. Ask the patient to lift the right leg against resistance of your hand. Pain can indicate acute appendicitis.